Hi there everyone, today I'm reviewing Shroud of Night by Andy Clark. Impressed by Mike Brooks's Alpharius Head of the Hydra, I decided to delve more deeply into the machinations of the Alpha Legion. This book though takes place 10,000 years later and follows a band of Alpha Legionnaires not during the Horus Heresy but in the latest part of the timeline where Primaris Marines have been introduced and Primarchs are returning more and more. The plot for this one is that the Alpha Legionnaires end up working with a Slaanesh, the Chaos Lord, racing to secure an Imperial Shrine. In addition to the threat of betrayal, they also have to contend with a Cornate Warband attacking the planet of Sardreka, led by none other than Khan the Betrayer. So the scene is set, but how good of a read is this? Well, the band of Alpha Legionnaires are interesting enough in of themselves, with a diverse cast of characters. Kassar, the main character, is the determined leader who is both rather selfless and focused on the objectives, perhaps hearkening back to earlier harrowings of the Legion during the Horus Heresy. Felg is the silent sniper, perhaps a little too committed to the stereotype of a symbolically silent dealer of death from afar but feels like he has a suitable place within the squad. Other Legionnaires fit different moulds, but are little one-dimensional and simplistic. They fit to moulds that you've probably seen before in these kind of books. The writing itself is adequate, but this word is a bit too fitting for the book as a whole, for much of it really is just that adequate. Too much time is spent on the squad talking amongst themselves to navigate certain objectives, and I think it was an attempt to show their kind of group thought process and the Alpha Legion approach of everyone being one of many and therefore everyone's opinion counting and being listened to. But instead it tends to result in tedious paragraphs of dialogue as the characters navigate what's going on. It's simply not that interesting and it really sucks the pace and interest out of the characters in action. The dialogue should at least be used to show depth to the characters, but it certainly fails in this respect, instead focusing on what they're going to do next. Similarly, when the action does ramp up, such as the inevitable encounters with Khan, they can sometimes be a bit brief by contrast. The action sections do tend to be decent, with some tension, tangible sense of threat, rather than just space marines destroying everything you do really feel like the characters could die and are in danger. It's just that often these bits are often over too soon to make way for more unnecessary dialogue. The book is fairly predictable too. One key character hook, which I won't spoil, was engaging enough and added depth to the interactions of the squad itself. But more groundwork should have been laid to either make us care more about the squad members as individuals or to be disgusted and feel pity for them. Great examples of how to do this were seen in the Night Lord series by Aaron Dembski Bowden, which is obviously a popular one with 40k fans, and it's a book like that kind of shows how to do this kind of thing. The finale set piece in this book, though, was really quite obvious at the end. It's pretty clear how it's going to go, really, and it was representative of the book as a whole. Despite the moments usually in action, that the book does do well, it's almost always standard bolt affair, just with some deceit and spikes added in. So in terms of final score for this one, Shroud of Night isn't a terrible book, but if you enjoy Warhammer 40,000 or Chaos, you really will have already read books like this. And unfortunately, you've probably read better ones too. It just doesn't really excel anywhere. And although the characters are introduced well and felt like they had their own personalities, it just isn't explored deeply enough to provide much substance. Couple this with the plot being predictable, and it's hard to get away from the feeling that this book is quite simply one of many. If you haven't already, you'd be better off reading Alpharius, Head of the Hydra, which is set in the Horus Heresy. I will also be reviewing Renegade's Harrowmaster, another Alpha Legion book in due course, and that's hopefully that one is a, a better read. So for final score, I'm giving this one a 5 out of 10. It is just distinctly average. It's not the worst book I've read, but it, it just doesn't shine that much. 
Anyway, I'm reviewing many more Warhammer 40,000 and Horus Heresy books, so subscribe for that, and thanks for watching. Cheers.